report tonight says Kansas City is not using some of its tax money correctly. Critics charge money meant to help struggling parts of the city is actually being spent in areas that don't need it, like the plaza. KMB Science Michael Mahoney with how much money we're talking about. The Show Me Institute report is critical of the city's TIF process. That stands for Tax Increment Financing. The city puts in streets, sidewalks, things like that around a new commercial project. The sales tax then goes back to the city to pay for those new streets and sidewalks that they put in for the project. But the report claims... The economically depressed and poor parts of town that were intended when TIF was, uh, was developed don't get any support. It says the TIF process has approved $34 million for projects in low-income areas of town, $275 million in other places. The plaza, the river market, and the power and light district, which the city also subsidizes. When public dollars are steered toward economically viable, uh, a productive, attractive parts of town, they don't go to the east side in Kansas City. Where drawing in new investment is very tough. City Councilwoman Cindy Serco leads the TIF Commission. She says they're encouraging private developers to go into areas that need economic shots in the arm. But it is private development that, that drives the um, actual project itself. City government doesn't go through the TIF process itself and be the developer. Circo points to the city's East Patrol project as a potential boost to that neighborhood, and TIF projects must have a social element now to get approved. As the conservative Show Me Institute issues a report critical again of Kansas City's TIF process. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The report says counties, not cities, should supervise the TIF process. They would represent a broader segment of the people.